payments. I mean, no doubt, I swear to you, blockchain, public blockchains are significantly better. I mean, you talk about like, uh, you want, um, we used to say, I looked at all these blockchain use cases at Fidelity, like we, you know, looked at like 40 or 50 or uh, use cases for blockchain. So not crypto, not native Bitcoin stuff. What else can we do with the blockchain? Of course, at Fidelity, because we're a financial services firm, we mostly looked into things in our business processes, right? Um, trade settlement or, you know, sharing KYC information in a, in a, in a um, you know, private and confidential way or whatever. And almost always the reason why the, there were a couple of reasons why it wasn't a good idea or wasn't yet ripe. So we would set triggers for these things to change. Then the idea could become interesting, but it was uh, the blockchain wasn't solving the problem that there was. It wasn't the right tool for the job. Um, it was it. Uh, Actually, the problem was a data, the problem itself was different, right? It was a data standards problem, for example, or something else. There were entrenched intermediaries who, you know, would oppose it um, because they profit or have some incentive that didn't uh, make them want to upgrade to this new technology. Or the third one, I think that the people forget about um, is that it was too costly to upgrade, right? And so yeah. what we say is it has to be a 10X improvement, right? And same thing with in venture, when I look at companies, you know, like, right, this is a cool man, but we're we really gonna get people to switch off like you know, taxis, is Uber really a 10X improvement? Well, we know it is, right? So yeah. uh, 10X or 100X, um, I think payments are 100 times more efficient, faster, cheaper, safer on a public blockchain uh, than they are in our current in our current system and they're significantly more efficient now that i don't just mean bitcoin i could mean stable coins as well i think that's something we're realizing with stable coins one of crypto's true killer apps um, but they're global they're fast they're audible auditable they're actually highly traceable this idea that bitcoin's good for crime it's simply not true if you talk to uh and i i did some work at boston college's um graduate program of cybersecurity and talked to some federal agents who do cyber investigations, they will tell you that Bitcoin investigation, we had we had Chris Tarbell, the former FBI special cybercrime agent who uh, locked up um, um, Ross Ross Ulbricht, the founder of the Silk Road, the illegal darknet marketplace, you may recall. He, he did that investigation. He was on our podcast, Galaxy Brands, a couple of weeks ago, and he said this also. It's there are it's different than doing a traditional asset investigation but you can get a full topography of the entire payment history like it's right there on the blockchain public for everyone to see now it doesn't have people's names attached to it right but if you can come by those by other means you have an incredible paper trail to look through so it's auditable it's fast it's transparent it can be cheaper bitcoin's lightning network is like fractions of a penny per transaction and it's instant it's called lightning for a reason it's like bam paid instant faster than a credit card swipe so I think this is going to be huge. By the way, David Marcus, um, you know, former PayPal executive, former head of Libra at Facebook, later called DM at Meta. <laughs> um, he just basically, they just rolled out. He People were wondering what he's been working on. He started a Bitcoin Lightning payments company called LightSpark, and they just rolled out their product like last week. You can go to lightspark.com and see it. And it is a, it is a, 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 a payments as a service company built on the lightning network on Bitcoin. So um, I think a lot more to come in payments that, you know, and it's sort of this like holy grail that like, I mean, everyone's trying to do payments. I mean, PayPal was one of the big innovators sure. in sort of the sort of FinTech era, but like people have talked about payments. So like, do people really spend their Bitcoin? All these like sort of skeptical questions and right to be skeptical because it's sort of this, like, uh, like I said, this holy grail, meaning this giant important thing that people seek after, but they never quite find right in terms of, and then they do occasionally find it. I think that's a big one to watch.